If you watch them, man, they, they're like bulldogs, man. They're just like, you watch JT Torres, man. You're going to see like, <laughs> and they just put so much pressure on you. You know, when you fight these guys like Lucas Lepre, like it's hard to describe how much pressure they're putting on you. And even when you're like on bottom, defending, 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 eventually like, you're like, dude, I'm tired. Like, <sighs> you feel your, your life meter like going down and then you're just like, just do what you want with me. back at it again with Mr. Jeffrey Cummings and today we're gonna look at some uh, pressure passing kind of like over under passing and uh, guys like JT Torres, Lucas Lepre killed, killed everybody with this so we're gonna take a look at it let's get started so a lot of times you know especially in Ogi a lot of people try to knee slice and then of course that knee shield comes in and so I can try to work my way through here uh, but it's gonna be hard especially if he's got a frame together with his legs and so you can get stuck here a lot okay so a uh, really uh, different way to approach guard passing is instead of trying to go forward, I can start to underhook this leg, okay? And so I always want to monitor this, this uh, like reverse double heave leg because if it comes out, it might kind of interrupt my, my passing, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of keep my hand monitoring that leg just so you can't pull it out or anything. My other hand, usually I'm on the chest, shoulders kind of framing there. I'm gonna use my knee to open up his leg a little bit and then underhook. Once I underhook, I'm gonna cup his hip. Yeah, I'm gonna cup his hip and that just kind of keeps it in place because a lot of times the guy might try to pry it off. And push it, push my wrist down, down. Push your wrist down. Yeah, Good. like that. So I can kind of use that cup to keep his uh, leg on my shoulder. From here, my hand that was on the leg kind of blocking it. I'm just gonna make sure it's glued to there because now I'm gonna open up my hip uh, back and then I'm gonna step in you know, if he's, if he's kind of following my leg, I can cut over that way. And from here, guys, you know, especially white belt crew, uh, I like to pin his leg to the, the mat. If I'm loose on my hand, he can just strip it off. And then you got triangle, okay? And so when you're passing, you know, especially at the highest levels, it's like that fine line between like risk and reward. So I got to risk a little bit to get that reward of passing his guard. So, so I'm pinning my arm to your leg and then pinning your leg to the mat, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna start uh, pressuring in towards him. From here, if he's kind of, you know, if he's kind of not defending or pushing or anything, that's fine. I can go cross body. So the hand that was cupping his hip, go cross body. I'll even start to push my forearm into his neck to be uncomfortable. And now this hand that's on the, on the, the knee, I'm gonna switch to his hip. Let me turn this way. There we go. And then all I'm gonna do, guys, is drive forward, okay? So I was here, so I'm using that, that forearm pressure to drive his hip to the, uh, off the mat, okay? And then I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on this right side, okay, just left side. And as I put pressure, he's gonna usually roll out. As he rolls, I'm gonna use my knees to frame his back and step, 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 boom, leg pry, okay? We love this position, right, guys? <laughs> From here, body lock. Go up higher, hooks go in, right? So to troubleshoot this move a little bit, let's get back a little bit, Jeffrey. So I'm here, he's blocking. So instead of getting stuck here, a lot of times I'll just go straight into the movement, okay? I was framing the shoulders, go to the legs. I'll even open up my knee a little bit, underhook, 
cup the hip, step in. From here, if I'm having trouble, you know, moving forward, a lot of times the guy's fighting me and pushing me, yeah, push. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go off his knee and I'm just gonna gable grip my arm, my arms together on his hip. Okay, if he tries the triangle, because you know, you gotta lift your hips off to do the triangle, right guys? <laughs> I'm gonna lift him up as soon as possible, almost like I'm gonna flip him over, okay? From here, my knees are framing his back. I'll show the angle later. And then I just drive forward, back step, pry, leg pry, switch to body lock, go up higher, ball to the side, and then put, place my hooks in. So again here, I'm trying to pass. And so if I, if I know the guy has a good guard, you know, I can get stuck here. You know, that's happened to me. Happened to me at ADCC, it's happened to me in, in training. You know, you can get caught in this kind of sequence and then maybe the guy's good at like inverting and stuff. And then now I'm like behind, right? Okay. So this pass is a great way to like control the situation, the position. So again here, I'll just start opening from here, especially from here I can step over or sometimes I'll just, uh, again, I'll cut. If he's not doing anything, I'll pressure forward there. If I feel he's fighting me, cable grip my hands together. And you know, from here I just kind of do like a deadlift or if he feels like he's gonna try and triangle me, I'm pulling his, his uh, back off the mat. Okay, from here, man, he's in a bad position, man. Drive him forward. And also look how my left leg is supporting his back. So I'm not just using my upper body, I'm using my whole body, okay? Drive forward, knee frames his back, back step, leg pry. Okay, from here, I can stay here too. Control my position, I beat Jeff. I get an advantage point for, uh, I didn't pass his guard, but I made him flip over. <laughs> Almost passed, right? And he turtled, so I think I get an advantage point from there. And then, you know, we want to score and attack. So again, I'm gable, gri gable gripping body lock here. And I want to make sure I go up higher than his, than his head with my body, my upper body. Fall to the side. Hooks. Take your points. All right, guys, that was a pretty simple pass. Um, you know, the highest, the best guys in the world do that pass. And, um, and uh, if you watch them, man, they, they're like bulldogs, man. They're just like, watch GT Torres, man. You're gonna see like, <laughs> and they just put so much pressure on you. You know, when you fight these guys like Lucas Lepre, like it's hard to describe how much pressure they're putting on you. And even when you're like on bottom, defending, 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 Eventually, like, you're like, dude, I'm tired. Like, uh, 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 uh. You feel your, your life meter like going down and then you're just like, just do what you want with me. Uh, so yeah, you know, um, it's a different style of passing. You know, it takes some, some time to, to develop because you got to put a lot of pressure and also you can't make any mistakes. If, I, if I'm too loose, maybe that triangle comes. But again, I said that, that risk versus reward, okay? It's very, very thin line. So thank you, Jeffro. Yes, sir. All right, guys, until next time, peace out. Peace, 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 and ciao. All right, that's good, Jeffro. Thank you, sir.